What is going on everybody? Zionic here and in today's video, I'm I'm still in Berlin. I'm 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 still here. It's a long weekend at GoFest, but we do have another fun, very strong team that you guys can use in the Kanto Cup because the meta has been exactly the same since the dawn of time. We're gonna be having Dragonair, Alolan Marowak, and Electrode. If you guys do have that shadow Alolan Marowak with frustration removed, be sure to give that a try. But Electrode, one of the best safe swaps in this meta, just flat out period. It is so good. So give it a try. So here we have Dragonair on the lead versus Wigglytuff. Obviously a terrible matchup for us. We're going to go ahead and swap right away into that Electrode. Start getting ahead on Energy. Now they do swap out into a Lolan Muck. This is what's very nice about Electrode when ahead on Energy in a neutral matchup. It can flip this around for us and obviously Lolan Marowak does very very well against Wigglytuff as compared to Dragonair, right? And they do decide to let that go. So I'm going to go ahead and double shield and just completely farm down. Electrode with loaded energy is one of the deadliest things in this meta along with Alolan Graveler because Volt Switch can farm down a lot of Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and throw this discharge right here. Try to force them to get a shield um, and then we will commit to the farm down. They do decide to shield which is perfect and now we're going to go ahead and give up our final shield and completely farm down we'll have a charge move ready to go for whatever they bring in if they bring in wiggly tough we have discharge for neutral damage and if they have something in the back that's weak to electrode we may be able to do super effective and sure enough they have a shadow hypno which is perfect foul play right here does so much super effective damage which is why i love running it on electrode for the kanto cup we're going to be able to get to another foul play as well because the energy gain from volt switch is just that strong so we flipped a mid game we got both shields and we are absolutely just destroying this Hypno's health right now. What we can do is bring in Dragonair versus Hypno right here. They are going to swap out in the Wigglytuff, and we bring in the Alolan Marowak, and that is basically going to be a good game. Alolan Marowak, because of our fire typing, is going to be resisting Charm. We're going to be resisting the Ice Beam. We're going to be resisting um, the Play Rough as well, and we're just going to go ahead and throw Bone Clubs. Now, in order to still win this game, I have to be concerned about a potential Ice Punch from Hypno, right? A Shadow Hypno with Ice Punch can do a lot of damage to Dragonair. So what we're going to do here is we're going to to build up to two bone clubs as you guys can see this first one is going to be taking out the wigglytuff and the second one should do enough damage to take out shadow hypno so we will see wigglytuff go down shadow hypno comes back in and remember it's extremely low because of the foul play and volt switch damage so this bone club will be taking it out and that is going to be a good battle very well played all right moving into this next battle here we have Dragonair on the lead versus Mew. Very interesting matchup. It all depends on what they have in terms of charge moves. If this is a Surf Wild Charge, we're looking pretty good, but they do decide to switch into Lapras, which is perfect for us. Electrode, again, similar to the Alolan Muck matchup we saw in game one, I can come out of here with loaded energy and put shield pressure on them. We also don't need to shield that first Surf from a Lapras. We can survive it, and we are going to make them dictate if they want to shield or not. We're also going to be building up to two charge moves just in case they let this go and that Mew comes back in we have a foul play ready to go see the Lapras went down Mew is probably going to be coming back in and we're just going to spam this foul play which is why I built up to two and gave myself low health so they can't farm me down as much now foul play is obviously going to be doing super effective damage and we should be getting a shield which we do which is very nice and volt switches really start to add up and they are going to throw their energy as well which is perfect for us we might have been able to get to another charge move and they have flame charge which is fine by me I can bring in a Lolan Marowak here um, to do quite a bit of damage with Fire Spin and Bone Club. Yes, Shadow Claws hurt, but I have Shield Advantage. Remember that. I'm also concerned they may have a Lolan Muck in the back, which is why I'm going to bring in the Lolan Marowak here. And we see they actually have a Gold Bat, which is really cool to see. We're going to go ahead and go for a Shadow Bone. This does a lot of neutral damage in the matchup, and then we're going to look to swap into that Dragonair, um, and we'll have a Dragon Pulse ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and go in Dragonair. Go for the Dragon Pulse right here because we had so much loaded energy from the start of the match against that that Mew. This Dragon Pulse does neutral damage, not enough to KO, but what we're going to do here is we're going to let these charge moves go through. I'm perfectly fine with this. My win condition is with Alolan Marowak with Shadow Bone and a Shield versus the Mew. They're going to go ahead and throw their charge moves. That's fine by me. It's going to take out Dragonair. 
But again, we can see my win condition here with Alolan Marowak coming in and farming down. Mew has no energy. We have a shield still, and we can get to the bone or the shadow bone right here. And this is going to be taking out the Mew, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. So again, this team's all about managing your energy, managing your shields, and recognizing your win conditions. It wasn't necessarily with Dragonair there, it was with Alolan Marowak. All right. Moving in this next battle, we have Dragonair on the lead versus Hypno. Okay, tough matchup right here. What we're going to do is stay in this. We'll have to see how or what they decide to do in terms of their charge moves. So they're going to go ahead and build up to four. Um, they actually build up to five right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw Aqua Tail. What you need to do when you're a Dragonair in this kind of neutral matchup, Confusion hurts, but you have to build up to Dragon Pulse. Um, and we're going to go ahead and swap as well into Electro to catch the charge move. I don't want to give up a shield, and it is going to be a Thunder Punch, which is perfect. It's resisted. It would have been resisted on Dragonair anyways, and we do see Alolan Muck now come into this, and we've seen this matchup many times now. This is a very favorable matchup for us. We can come out of here with energy, um, possibly losing shield advantage as well, so we'll have to see what they decide to do, but I'm going to go ahead and throw the Discharge after building up to two. It's very important when you run Pokemon like this who have great charge moves um, with high energy energy gain that you overload on energy in these neutral matchups so what you guys are going to see is i'm going to go ahead and shield right here and just commit to the farm down we saw that that hypno um, on the lead right it still has two shields but we will have two foul plays which means we are getting shields directly back and it's almost energy dry it's not close enough um, to a charge move and we do see actually a beedrill come in so we're just going to go ahead and go for discharges right here both foul play and discharge does neutral damage but discharge is going to be same type attack bonus because we are electric typing so you want to be throwing that charge move um, now hopefully we can get to another one in time but i decide actually to swap into dragon air to try to get to the dragon pulse they are going to throw their charge move right here that was a bit quick so i'm guessing it's going to be x scissor but it's actually fell stinger which means i'm actually going to go for the aqua tail instead i don't want a poison jab to take me out without me doing chip damage so i'm just going to go ahead and go for the guaranteed aqua tail get this thing low and they will be able to farm us down now it's very important that i don't bring in a lowland marowak right here because i'll go i'll get one shot by a draw run so i have to bring in electro to force their energy again that's what's very key they have to throw it because i'm going to get to a discharge in time and they decide to swap out into hypno actually so what we do here it's a good swap by the opponent but i'm stuck i have to go for this foul play in order to take it out and then they're gonna go ahead and farm me down and i'm like man this drill run is about to hurt but remember b drill lost its boost drill run wouldn't one shot then and that's okay that is going to be a good battle very well played that is why I brought in Electrode to force that energy or force them to swap out. All right, we got Dugong on the lead. We're going to swap right away into Electro, get ahead on energy, and they bring in a Clefable. And I think you guys can already tell what this team is. I think this is a double charm team. So this is going to be tough, but let's see if we can handle it here. We're going to go ahead and go for Discharge. It does neutral damage um, here against the Clefable, and hopefully we can get another one in time. Yes, we can. This is going to be getting the shield or flipping the matchup. Both of which is okay, but also it's not okay because I need Alolan Marowak to 1v3, basically. Alolan Marowak has to come in right now. It has to take out Dugong, and it has to take out their second Charmer. So I'm really hoping it's an Alolan Ninetales, but it's most likely going to be a Wigglytuff. Now, we have to let this charge move go through. I'm guessing it's Meteor Mash, but it's actually Psychic. That's a lot of damage that I shouldn't have taken right there. I'm already at 50% health, so things are not looking good. We do see Dugong now come back in, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Shadow Bone right here to do some neutral damage, and then we're going to have to see if we can pull this off with Alolan Marowak. It lands as well, which is perfect. We are going to see them go for the charge move. I'm going to go ahead and shield, even if it is Icy Wind. Resisted damage at this health range is not something I can take. So I'm going to go ahead and build up. going to go for another Shadow Bone. Actually, no, they swap out into Wigglytuff. So I, it's game over. You guys can see the writing on the wall right here. They have double charm in the back, which is kind of tough for this team. Um, it, you know, <laughs> it's just it's just tough. That's all I'm going to say about it. But I decided to run this team to have fun anyways. And if we run into double charm, so be it. Aqua Tails right here are going to be doing neutral damage. And hopefully we can get to another one in time. No, we cannot. We don't have enough health or energy here with a Lonely Marowak. We're going to go ahead and go for Bone Club right away. What I probably should have done is swapped straight out of a Lonely Marowak because Bone Clubs would have done more damage um, beforehand. But we simultaneously KO and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving in this next one, we have Dragonair versus Jigglypuff. Look at this. Watch the raw power from Dragonair. Boom! Takes it out. 
This is why Dragonair is so overpowered here for Kanto Cup. It can destroy Pokemon like this. A 28 combat power Jigglypuff. Here comes a Poliwag. 151 combat power. Get out of here. And here comes a Dratini. Easy. Easy. Good games. Very well played. <laughs> All right, moving into this final battle. We got Dragonair on the lead versus Charizard. I'm actually going to swap right away. I don't want to get hit with uh, Dragon Breath, but it's what I saw there is a wing attack. Now, we do see a Wigglytuff come in. So this is what's great about Electrode as well when it comes to these Charmers. We will chunk the health. We will either flip the matchup or we'll get a shield and chunk health, both of which is perfect um, for this situation, seeing that it was a wing attack Charizard as well, which means Dragonair can still do well. We're going to go ahead and go for Discharge. This is going to be taking out Wigglytuff or getting the shield. It gets the shield, which is perfect. Now, Lolan Marowak can come in, and I'm hoping they aren't running Double Charm, um, but we'll have to see. Lolan Marowak is going to come in and farm down. We're going to go ahead and let the charge move go through. I'm going to need those shields for Dragonair just in case they aren't running Double Charm. Um, plus, a Lolan Marowak can get a lot of energy right here. We may see that Charizard now come back in, so let's see what they decide to do. We do see the Charizard come back in, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Shadow Bone right here. This does a lot of neutral damage, and considering this is a Shadow Charizard as well, it's going to hurt, and it lands, which is perfect. We go ahead and swap into Dragonair, and there is actually a Fighter in the back, which is definitely gives us a huge win condition. I was concerned it was going to be another Charmer, but if it was another Charmer, um, it would have taken neutral damage from Shadow Bone, which would have been ideal, um, because it would have been like a Lolan Ninetales or... Um, Cliff Fable because we already took out the Wigglytuff. So we are going to see a Cross Chop come through. I'm going to let it go. My win condition is now hard farming down this Machamp right here. Using a shield and hopefully fast moves alone can take it out because Charizard has energy. So we're going to be able to farm down with Fire Spin. And then we're just going to go for a Shadow Bone right here versus the Charizard. They are going to be able to get to a charge move, but we saved our shields again. Sweeping with a Lolan Marowak, which is what's going to happen a lot with this team. Um, and we can get the Shadow Bone off and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Knowing that this was a wing attack Charizard, I could have stayed in with Dragonair right there and done quite a bit of damage with Dragon Breath, but I didn't want to risk it and I swapped right away. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this team and these battles. I think Electrode is a great investment for Kanto Cup. It does so well on safe swap and can put a lot of pressure on your opponents because it breaks apart a lot of cores. It does well against stuff like Alolan Marowak and Hypno. It does well against Lapras. It does well against Flyers. Um, so, yeah, like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.